see that? Fuck those cunts. You watching a story on the Arasakas and narrating porn? Gee, aren't you funny? Look around. Look what they've done to this hood. So, ready? Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's cool. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first, but I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. What is that? You're a dirt girl from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. All right. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seeing flashes of your past. Just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. How you find life under my skin? Well... Most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. <laughs> and the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes would pass before I had a fresh cig in my head. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Listen, will I notice the change? Or is it one of those things where I'll wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human, rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? I, what you really yeah, want? What you really, Help really want. settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Let's get out Your of here. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. You seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually aligned pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life. That done, I can burn it to the ground. Ah, oh, there it is. A crusade. Get to Mikoshi. Smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? Hell yeah. All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and empty pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day.
Okay, maybe I should have taken the pills because this guy is walking along the line. This guy is walking through. The okay, now he's back. Okay, yeah, I should have took those pills. I really should have. I cannot summon my vehicle. That is not a thing I can do. But I guess under my situation, my circumstance, I shouldn't drive. But I do have 3.3 to go. Okay, 3.2. Hey ma'am, how you doing? We're gonna reach Japan Town. How about saying I can't even run? Okay, I can run. That is the thing I can't do. I still can't summon my vehicle. I could probably take one though. We're fighting with the police. Okay, alright. I don't want any part of it. I bet that looks real beautiful at night time. In the daytime, you just really can't see everything. I mean, you can kind of still see everything, but it's not... It's not as beautiful as it should be. I need a vehicle! I heard a horn. I heard a horn. I'm not gonna lie, my first intention was to jump on top of that vehicle. But I wasn't quite sure what it was gonna do to it, so I didn't do it. I'm running into things. That's nice. Alright. Judy, hey baby. Thanks. Please, I'm nobody. Hey Judy, what's up? Hey. Can you come over step? Something happened? Yeah. Okay, I know I'm dying and all that jazz, and that's great. But um, when when my girl, when when my girl Judy calls, I, I gotta go. So I'm about to go save my girl. Cause she's the most important character to me in this game. That isn't my own character. And once I get through that, then I go see uh, my buddy about whatever it is that I gotta do with him. I did that. That was on me. I thought that's what they were saying. <laughs> Look, are they saying booty shaking? They're saying booty shaking. I 100% Agree, but not right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm supposed to turn somewhere. The game hasn't told me when or where, because the map still is trying to load in right now. So I'm just gonna follow the... Alright. You're in my way. I 
I'm going too fast and the game can't load in everything as I go along. So I'm pretty sure once I get to Judy's apartment, which is like 650 away, the game would not have loaded in. I would have to wait for it to load in. Ah, son of a witch. Alright. Got your number from a friend. It doesn't mean you should call me. Or text me. You're in my way. I take it they had an accident, and that's why they're like what well, seems to be like all up in each other. Coming through. Sorry. Have it right in front of the police too. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry. Alamein. Come here. Del? Virus in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. Judy? herself to express her undying gratitude to you for saving her ass. I was, I was only gone an hour. Okay. Gotta do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. Shut up, Johnny. Not sure we should move her before the badges get here. She's just another dead whore to them. Nobody will care. Least we could do is treat her with some dignity. Side Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow. No. Today. What part of dead don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. You don't want to move your asses. Why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine. I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Yeah, for you. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Wow. All things considered, you let them off pretty light. Had it been me, they'd have gotten an earful like nobody's biz. Hmm. 
put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? All right. Close the door, V. Please. You got it, boss. Sig. Didn't know you smoked. Quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Fine, here. That was her smoke case. Yeah. She smoked some strange boutique brand. Well, that's Evie. Whenever she pulled on a new face, it was down to the details. A lot of people know the real Evelyn. Who she really was? No. Nobody. I gave her some t space, time, she'd get back on her feet. Stay strong, Judy. Don't let this tear you down. You know what? Let's just not say anything for a minute, okay? Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. Wow. What did Woodman do to her? Did you see it? Yeah. And I really wish I could unsee it. Wait, so you found other recordings? Had another look at the corrupted ones. You know, lots of static. Hard to pick up anything, really. At some point, I stumbled on something like an echo of the spat we'd had. Last time we saw each other. But I know she wasn't scrolling. And why was it saved as a virtue? Got no explanation for it. Maybe she recalled it later, relived it, almost. Implant could have been on when, you know, as a defense mechanism, escaping into the past so as not to live in the present. I had no idea that guy was such a monster. Saw him as your average Trixie sleazebag. It puts on a convincing facade. I knew him, but I never thought him that sick in the brain. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. I think I'll call Sue's. Thanks, V. Sorry, but uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. I'm sure you don't need anything. anything? No, but sweet of you to ask. All right. Well, anything comes up, holler on the hollow.
This thing has me doing a whole different mission. Alright, well, now that we saw that, sadly, guess we head to the Jap Japan town.